Good morning, everyone. I'd just like to carry on with that theme of uh, being in the zone. And, uh, you know, we had some classic examples of, you know, what's familiar to you, you can get in the zone like, just like that. And so we had a bunch of people went out there dancing and having a great time. Everybody was in the zone. <laughs> and, uh, and so, and I come from a long background of, of, of being, having to be in the zone to get the quality of whatever it is that you're doing. And so, um, for, the, for me this weekend, uh, my being in the zone was really about getting a good bunch of leads. And so, so, so far I'm on track, 10 yesterday, 10 the day before, so today is of course 10. And uh, so, being in that zone, though, I just wanted to sort of expand on that a little bit, and that is that, you know, it's easy to be in the zone with, with something that you're familiar with. Uh, like the example of the dancing last night, I mean, we were just so flowed in the zone, we just flowed everywhere, and everything was fantastic. And you know, it takes, you know, quite some time to get, create a habit. And so, um, and, and there's a lot of new things that we're learning right here. And, um, and these things are, are getting us in the zone where we want to be. And it is uncomfortable. And it, ta- it does take years. You know, there's something like 1,500 hours that uh, an expert of whatever it is that you're being in the zone for, regardless of what it is, whether it's a, a carpenter, a, a plumber, a hairstylist, or whatever, an artist, you know, it's 1,500 hours to be an expert. So, uh, so you know, be kind on yourself. You know, because to be in the zone is, is it takes skill, and so if you're not familiar with it, then just you know be kind on yourself while you're doing it. Because once you're in the zone, man, 